Welcome back to another video of Let's Learn Flight Simulator together. As the title of this video suggests, in this video, we will try becoming better at flying. We will be taxiing, rolling, rotating, leveling off. If you are not familiar with these terms, stay tuned. We will find them out together. Before we proceed, let's have a look at the instrument panel as without them, we will definitely be getting lost. What you are seeing inside the red box is the airspeed indicator. It tells you the speed of your aircraft in knots. This red box is your altitude indicator. It tells you the height of your aircraft from the sea level in feet. This red box is your compass. It tells you what direction or heading your aircraft is flying. These horizontal lines indicate the pitch of your aircraft. In simple words, it tells you the angle at which the fuselage of your aircraft is at with the reference to the ground. Last but not the least, vertical speed indicator. It tells you how fast your airplane is climbing up or down vertically in thousands of feet. Now that we have seen the instruments panel, let's move forward. According to Wikipedia, taxiing is the moment of an aircraft on the ground under its own power. What this means is you drive or propel yourself to the runway. Let's do exactly that. Pilots taxi themselves onto the runway and align themselves with the center of the runway. Before they take off, they take clearance from the air traffic controller. Since we are in a simulator, I guess that's something we can skip. We are going to set a flat to 15. We are going to remove the brakes and we are going to do a full throttle. While on the way to take off, try staying as close to the center of the runway as possible. When you push back on your control lever, it pushes your elevators up, raising the nose of the aircraft. At the correct speed, the aircraft lifts off the ground. We will learn more about the takeoff speed in future videos. For now, just remember that your aircraft needs to be fast enough to be able to take off. Once you are off the ground, continue climbing at a steady speed and the climb rate. Hold off any urge you may have to steer around right away. Let's continue climbing to 2000 feet, then we will level off. After we have reached 2000 feet, we will retract our flaps. Even though I have forgotten to do that, I hope you will remember to retract your flaps. After you stop climbing, you will notice your aircraft will gain airspeed that will try to lift your airplane. Adjust your elevators accordingly to maintain your altitude. Use a combination of airspeed and elevators to maintain whatever altitude you want to fly. In real life, you will fly whatever altitude that has been given to you by your ATC. There will be other aircrafts in your vicinity. The reason I'm telling you this is you must be aware at all times of your instrument readings. Being distracted for too long may not end good. To turn the aircraft to right or left direction, 
You can control the ailerons by pushing the control lever to right or left. Use your keyboard to control your aircraft here. Try not banking more than 25 degrees and try not banking faster than 3 degrees per second. Why, if you ask? Because that's what commercial pilots follow. If you still feel like breaking the rules of the simulator, hey, go ahead, who am I to stop? While you are turning, your aircraft may lose altitude. Compensate for the lost altitude by using your elevators. To level off again, push on your control lever or keyboard in the opposite direction. Be gentle while you do it. Here, I flew straight for 5 minutes trying to maintain the altitude. Remember, we have not added any weather or wind effects. After we change the weather and wind effects, which we will in future videos, flying straight will not be as easy. Keep practicing. Try being better than what you were yesterday. It's going to be fun. Now, as I had promised, we will see where to find add-ons and we will see how to add them to the flight simulator. This is going to get exciting. You can find add-ons at YSF HQ Forum. I will add the website's link to this video's description. This is your shopping mall where these awesome people have created so many realistic airplanes, maps, grounds, sceneries without asking you to pay for them. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who has worked on creating any content on this website. I am more of a commercial flight person so I was trying to look for commercial aircrafts. Look what we found, a 777. I'm definitely having this. Find the download link and download the zip file. I'm going to spend a lot of time here, so I'm going to fast forward to end of this clip. In the next clip, we will see how to add these add-ons to your flight simulator. Extract all of these zip files to one folder. We will merge the downloaded folders with the YS Flight Realism folder. You may get a lot of readmes that you can read if you want. We need to work with aircrafts, user, scenery, grounds. We need to move the contents of these folders to the same name folders in the YS Flight Realism folder. You can either manually copy the content of each folder to YS Flight Realism folder or you can copy the folders directly and merge with the existing folders in save time. I have selected a random runway and Garud 777 to fly. Every time I fly, I change the color of my heads up display to white because it makes it easier for me to look at things. Setting our flaps to 15 and ready for roll. In this video, we saw taxiing, takeoff, rotate, 
turns and leveling off. In our next video, we will play with the aircraft in air. We will try to see how different combinations of settings of elevator, airspeed and flaps affect the plane. I know you are also looking forward to landing, so we will also do landing in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video and got to learn something new. If you already knew all of these concepts, thanks for continuing to watch this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and share buttons and please subscribe to my channel.